Okay, good afternoon. I will start in three minutes. Uh, meanwhile, to our participants, we welcome you to our uh, seminar this afternoon. Just a reminder, uh, if you have questions for our panelists, uh, please put your questions in our Q&A box. Uh, uh, we will all entertain questions from our Q&A box. And uh, the chat box is for socials, no? uh, for greetings, but for the questions, only, for, only in the Q&A box. Again, thank you again for joining. We'll start in three minutes. And for other reminders, uh, of course, uh, let's all be polite in our in our messages. Let's be uh, kind. Let's be um, uh, let's be uh, um, civil in our in our messages. Okay. And uh, again, for the questions, this will be answered later. We have a Q and A portion for our speakers, so just uh, type in your questions there. Again, we'll only entertain questions in our Q and A box. For those who have come in, uh, you can watch us via our Facebook Facebook page, no? uh, Facebook page as, uh, uh, of BFA. And uh, you can invite also your friends there, your family to watch no? uh, in our Facebook page. No? And um, uh, for those, uh, especially students who would like to request for certificates, please email your request to, it's right on screen here, uh, membership recruitment at pfa.org.ph. No? Uh, please write your full name, your school or company, and also your reason why you're requesting for this certificate. And another reminder, if you want to view us no, in full screen, uh, you may opt to for the fit to screen no, option in your in your Zoom app and uh, or view side by side no, so that you can see the speaker and their presentation because later on uh, our speakers will have their presentations on PowerPoint so that you will see both the face of the speaker and the PowerPoint uh, you may uh, go to your view options of your Zoom app and then choose uh, side by side no? Uh, we don't have to go through this. Uh, we have, this was explained now before to our to our panelists. No? But again, reminders: uh, just be careful of how you look in, in your screen, and try to avoid um, background noises no? uh, in, in your uh, you know, where you're speaking, and also be sure that you are connected to strong internet. Uh, next slide, please. Again, uh, for the questions, uh, please write in a Q&A box and please write your name. No? We won't entertain questions from anonymous senders. Again, we won't entertain questions from anonymous senders. So when you send questions, if you want to be entertained, uh, please uh, include your name in the questions. No? Or don't, don't attend as an attendee with uh, numbers only in your... <laughs> Uh, please write your full name no, as, as attendees. And we have a full program this afternoon. So uh, with that, I think we're now start. Uh, and of course, to start on the right note, we'll start our program with a prayer. Uh, let's switch to our prayer so that we can start our program. And so let's be reminded that God is always present in us. No? So he's always present uh, wherever we are, whatever our situation is, he's present. So with this thought, let us all pray. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for gathering us online for a seminar on how to invest in the right franchise. We pray that this activity will be fruitful for all of us. Look kindly on our hopes, our aspirations, and bless the work of our hands so that all that we do, our labors, will bear good fruit and will be of service to our neighbors. Uh, we lift up to you our frontliners, the health workers, law enforcement officers, and workers of essential services. Protect them and keep them safe always. We also pray for our leaders, 
So that all their decisions will be for what is good, what is true, and what is just. Lastly, we pray that you guide us out of this crisis and become better persons, doing our fair share to make this world a better place. All this we pray, trusting your providence and mercy. Amen. 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 Okay. So we now proceed to our program. And to formally uh, welcome all of us, our attendees, it's now uh, 335 attendees no? uh, in our, in our um, seminar. And we expect this to grow uh, as, we, as we go along. So to, to formally welcome all of us, especially our attendees, we'd like to turn over uh, the, uh, the camera to our president, the president of PFA, the president of RISPA, Ms. Cheryl Quintana. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jake. Good afternoon to all our presenters, participants, and all those watching us on our live stream on Facebook. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and Officers of the Philippine Franchise Association, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome all of you on our first seminar on this topic during COVID-19 crisis on how to invest in the right franchise webinar. In this time of crisis brought about by the pandemic, we recognize the urgency to help you move forward and adapt to the new normal. And this is what motivated us to organize this online seminar. PFA has been conducting this seminar all over the Philippines to educate the public on wise franchise investment and second, to encourage entrepreneurship through franchising. PFA as the pioneer franchise association and the only internationally recognized franchise association in the country, it is committed in the promotion of franchising as a tool for enterprise creation and job generation. Since our founding in 1995, PFA have been the channel for growth and our members with the majority of which are MSMEs. As a matter of fact, many of the big names in Philippine business today started small and grew via franchising. And some are even recognized abroad. We hope that this seminar will give you a comprehensive understanding and insightful information on the right franchise investment. I would also want to give you an overview of the franchise seminar this afternoon. Why are we doing this? First is to educate the public on wise franchise investment, as well as to encourage entrepreneurship through franchising. And of course, this is brought to you, organized by the Philippine Franchise Association. What is franchising? Franchising is actually the power of growing your successful business from one to many by duplicating it. What is PFA? The Philippine Franchise Association was founded in 1995 and is the pioneer franchise association in the country. Members include the biggest franchise, uh, biggest uh, franchises, both local and foreign in the country. 69% of our members are micro, small, and medium enterprises. A voluntary self-regulating body, and we are also the only internationally recognized franchise association in the Philippines. So in fact, it is the voice of the Philippine franchise sector. PFA uh, has a fa fair franchising standards. It is a policy setting document adopted by the members of PFA that covers the conduct of sales of franchise by PFA members. Why do we do this? To establish uniform standards of conduct to govern franchise relationships. Second is to develop a set of principle, principles to govern the business and legal relationships of legitimate franchisors, and franchisees, as well as to promote self-regulation of the franchising sector. 
Before PFA, franchising in the Philippines was only for foreign and large enterprises. So the average growth was only one franchise per year when we started, before we started. There was a lack of public awareness about franchising in the country. And because of uh, PFA, franchising was introduced to MSMEs. In fact, my concept, Orispa, started as a, a micro and then small enterprises before we went into franchising. And the average growth because of PFA was 62 franchises per year. Franch when we started, franchising has become a preferred investment option. Now, for us to get uh, the best of uh, our time attending this seminar this afternoon, I'd like to encourage you to ask the proper and the right questions for you from our uh, panelists and our presenters this afternoon. What are the key questions you should ask as participants? So first, you should ask for the franchisor's support program, the investment or the return of investments, the right location for the brand, because uh, different brands have different uh, location uh, preferability, the brand's target market, and what business adjustments are you going to do to adapt to the new normal? So after which, uh, our program flow will be uh, how to invest in the right franchise presentation, and then there will be presentation from different uh, select uh, PFA members, PFA member brands, their presentation of the franchise packages by Citrus Zone, Living Water, Minute Burger, Mr. Donut, and You Franchise. After which, we will have uh, the presence of uh, PLDT expert to give us technology solutions for MSMEs. And then after which we will be entertaining questions and uh, Q&A from the participants. With that, thank you so much. And we wish you the best and a fruitful afternoon to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I think before uh, we excuse Ms. Cheryl, we have a one photo op no, for all our speakers and Ms. Cheryl. So I think just all turn on our, our videos. Just turn on the videos so that we can have a photo with Ms. Cheryl. And our kind our the secretary will take a photo of us in figure a panel adjust into our panel. Okay. Just uh, give the count, whoever will take the photo. <laughs> Are we going to have thumbs up or Ready? Uh, I will count them. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Ready? One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank watching. you, Ivy. Thank you. And thank you, Ms. Cheryl. Again, so we, we know, push it to our program. Again, thank you, Ms. Cheryl. Thank so you. So as Ms. Uh, said, so... We are doing this to educate the public no, on wise franchise investment. We'd like you to know so that uh, you won't be 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 fooled, no, uh, be, or be making putting investments on the wrong on the wrong uh, concept, no. So that's why we're having this seminar. Uh, so that and in fact, the main part of our program really is is, is the next portion, where our speaker will will tell you, you know, will walk you through. Uh, the process of investing on a franchise, buying a franchise, no? uh, what questions to ask, uh, make you understand what franchising is, the basics, the fundamentals, and, and the like. No? So to do that, uh, we'd like to welcome the Assistant Vice President of Francorp Philippines. Uh, Francorp Philippines is that's the biggest uh, consultancy, uh, franchise consultancy consul consul in the Philippines, and it's the brand responsible for it's a company responsible for the super superstar brands, uh, franchise in, franchises in the Philippines. No, uh, they're the ones behind Jollibee, Potato Corner, Max's Restaurant. So that's Francorp, and she's the assistant vice president for consul consultancy of Francorp. So on that note, uh, let's all welcome uh, Miss Dana Conetta. Thank you, Jake. Dana? Hi. Thank you, Jake. 
and good afternoon everyone. I'm sure everybody's raring to go back to our livelihoods, whether you are employed or in a business, we are contributing to rebooting our economy. Um, can we uh, start the slide, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, so if you're looking at becoming an entrepreneur, this presentation will guide you to see the benefits of the franchise business model. Um, okay, so this is what we will be talking about this afternoon. No, this is a learning session, as what Jake has mentioned. In this topic, we will share insights on why people buy a franchise. You will also know about the advantages and the challenges of franchising. And franchising is not for everybody, so we will know if franchising is for you, and if it is for you, what franchises are best for you? And of course, how do you become a successful franchisee? Uh, I'm sure you have these questions in mind, diba? Right? Would going into a business make sense now? And would franchising work during an economic slowdown? Um, let me just give you a couple of thoughts on this. Would going into a business make sense now? They say that there is never a right time to become an entrepreneur. When you see an opportunity, go for it. But during these times, you want to be a little bit cautious. So at least um, look into it. Um, during the pandemic, we see a lot of new opportunities, diba? Uh, overnight, you see digitalization happening. When we go into the new normal, we will see a lot of new opportunities too. Um, just a couple of reminders, when you go into a business, of course, we're looking at the investment, diba? the investment amount that you will be putting out. So aside from the capex and the working capital that you will be um, spending on, look into your cash flow for your basic needs because you want to put that aside uh, before you start using your money for investment. You want to be secure, you and your family be secure first. And then another is focus on concepts that are in the upswing. Those are medical related, you have pharmacies, you have diagnostic clinics. Um, of course, food is there, ready to eat food, ready to cook food. And because people will be staying more in their homes, so look at um, products and services that cater to providing convenience in your homes, whether you're working or stay, just staying at home. Um, next is, is it wise to buy a franchise now? Actually, franchising is the best and perfect way to get into entrepreneurship. So why do we say so? Because in franchising, there's lesser risk, okay? You're using a tested and proven system. And learning curve is not a tip. Why? Because your franchisors will be training you and will be hand-holding you until they can leave, it, leave you on your own and run the store. And periodically, they will guide you and give you support because that is their role, okay? So with that, I hope I have um, made you a little bit more optimistic as far as getting into a business or franchising is concerned, all right? So next is... Um, there. So what is franchising? Just a little bit of uh, definition of terms. Let us talk a bit about what franchising is all about. Uh, franchising has two operating parties. That's your franchisor and your franchisee. Okay, the franchisor is an individual or a company. He is the owner of the brand and the system. And this franchisor will grant the right to use the name and the system to the franchisee, which is also an individual or company. And in exchange, the franchisee will pay the franchisor franchise fees and will put out the capital. And both of them are bound by the franchise agreement, so they have their own responsibilities in that transaction. Okay. Um, I'm moving the slide. Okay, next slide, please. I can't seem to move. Next slide, please. Uh, yeah, next slide, yeah, there. Okay, so this is a study that was conducted by USAID. And um, several thousands of business were observed over a period of 10 years. And it's a mix of 
businesses that were started traditionally and franchise businesses. The traditional business is um, that's looking uh, setting your own system and then putting up your own uh, setting your own brand and then growing your brand. That's how you usually do it the traditional way and franchising. From this a study, this study yielded a better result for a franchise business. It has a 90% success rate versus a traditionally set business business where only 25 to 30% uh, reached the 10th year. So on the fifth year, a lot of the business closed already. And we will know later why that is so. So franchising is better compared to a traditionally set business. Next slide. And when you choose a business, it's not, my control is not moving. Next slide, please. Thank you. Okay. So when you think of a business in the past, when you um, uh, select a business, you only have a few choices, whether it's just the restaurant, um, taxi, right now we have PNBS, Grab, Sari Sari Store. Those are your choices. But because of the growth of the franchise industry in the Philippines, we have better choices now. We have more choices now. Okay. Um, right now, I think there's more than 2,000 concepts, franchise concepts in the Philippines. At Francorp, we are a franchise consulting firm. Um, we have concepts from birth to death. So birth is your birthing clinics and death are your funeral chapels and everything else in between. Um, they are 2,000 because the services get more and more focused. For example, in your, in your hair, hair alone, for example, before you, you, you would just go to a hair salon. Right now, there's a salon for cutting, there's a salon for hair extensions, there's a salon for wig, there's a salon for just blow drying. So that's how franchise grew because a lot of concepts we discovered are franchisable and the consumers are actually looking for that. Next slide, please. There are two types of franchising, um, product distribution franchising, which has been in the Philippines since the 1940s, back when um, there was this singer sewing machine, and the uh, full integration franchise or the business format franchising. The product distribution franchising is, this is like a wholesaler a distributor or dealership where several brands are housed inside one uh, store, a brick and mortar. Um, versus a full integration franchise where you are allowed to use the name of that brand and that franchisor provides you with the system, how to operate it from the time you open the store up to the time you close the store and everything that happens in between and behind it. So this is what we are going to talk about, the full integration franchise. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, in franchising, it says here, you are in a business for yourself, but not by yourself. That is the beauty of franchising. Um, if in our audience, there are entrepreneurs, I'm sure when you are faced with a challenge in your, in your business, um, there is no one, I do not know who you consult with for that particular problem or challenge, but I think if you are an entrepreneur, you are the end all and be all of your business. So there is no one to ask, you have to solve it yourself. Versus franchising, the franchisee always has the franchisor to ask because the franchisor has the system already. It has been tested, proven. It has gone through trial and error process um, because of the experience of the franchisor also, and he is an expert at what he does. Okay. Right now also, if I may add, during this pandemic, we can't be alone. It's very important to have someone to guide you. And this in the past two months, I think this is what the franchisors are doing with their franchisees, a lot of communication, building the bounce back plan and how to continue the business after the lockdown. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so these are the advantages to you. Um, the franchisor mentioned earlier provides you the use of their brand name and the use of the system. Okay. The name is very critical because this is credibility. So this is what the franchisor provides versus someone who's just started um, his business. This franchisor spent millions. Of course, these are named brands already. They have spent millions and hundreds of thousands 
for advertising to bring their brands to where they are now. And you are gaining from that. They will allow you to use their names, okay? So they allow you to use their trade names, but of course the business is yours, so the business name is yours. Um, and the use of their system, proven system and procedures. It has gone through years of trial and error process and until they have perfected the right way to do things. And um, these are all encapsulated in, a, in an operations manual, which they will lend you. Uh, products and services are defined. So all you need to do is buy the proprietary items from them and learn how to prepare them. If, if it's a restaurant we're talking about. Research and development uh, is very expensive to create new products, to create new um, new, new uh, dishes, for example. So the franchisee, franchisor will do this for the franchisees. All they need to do is to receive that memo. This is our new product. We will be launching this. Just put out the poster and um, the products will be delivered to you. This is how you will prepare the product. Store design and merchandising, it's very expensive to hire an interior designer, an architect to design your store. So what your franchisor will do, of course, is do that himself. Usually, in most cases, it's a turnkey project. So all you have to do is um, pay your franchise fee and your investment, give it to the franchisor, prepare your tra undergo training. And once everything is set, all you have to do is turn the key and operate. Okay, marketing campaigns that will be... Um, Part of your operations manual, those marketing campaigns have uh, been proven successful and effective to the market. So all you need to do is look at your manual and see which one works for you best. And critical is the support service, okay? Because this is a maybe minimum 10-year relationship. So you would need the franchisor to be beside you. And the franchisor in turn, also, in turn also wants you to become a success story, okay? Because win-win dapat. Well, if you're successful, your franchisor is successful also. Next slide. So if franchising is so good, why not just open all the stores yourself? So if you might want, if you might ask that to the franchisor, the franchisor needs you also, needs franchisees also because of these three things. Okay, you bring money, you bring time, and you be bring people to the franchisor. Money, of course, the franchisor is um, allowed to expand, okay, by using other people's capital. And there's also uh, revenue streams from the franchisee that is paid to the franchisor. Of course, there's also purchase of products that you will get from the franchisor. So that's one, money, time. Franchising is the... Um, fastest way to expand the brand. Okay, so one one minute, uh, no, one month, you have five uh, five branches, and then after you launch your pro uh, franchise program, by the end of the year, you would have probably eighty to one hundred, and we've seen that happen. And people, you bring a new set of network to the franchise uh, to the franchise uh, relationship to the franchise system you will open your store in your location that's your neighborhood that's your relatives your friends and your own campaign on how to bring customers to the store okay and the franchisor cannot duplicate himself okay they can only manage franchisor and his trusted people can only manage a handful of stores so they need owners themselves to manage the store, to run the store. And those owners are the franchisees. So that's the formula that makes it su successful. Next slide. Okay. We talked about franchisee support, right? So franchisee support is very critical in the relationship, okay? Franchisee pays the franchisor franchise fees and in exchange franchisor supports the franchisee and the support starts um, right after you sign the franchise agreement actually even before you sign the franchise agreement because the franchisor will already provide you with location assistance by assistance I mean evaluation of the location to make sure that that location passes the, the basic criteria for um, approving a location. Construction assistance or fabrication assistance for the carts, that's fabrication and for uh, uh, 
uh, store that's construction. So it's normally the franchisor to handle who handles everything, and franchisee just needs to undergo initial training, and then after the training, franchisor and his opening team will go to the store and help the franchisee set it up and do your grand opening marketing. So that's the support you have to expect from the franchisee. Also, the franchisor will stay with you until you are um, good to be left and uh, you can operate the store yourself. Okay, so those are the initial uh, support that you will get from the franchisor. Um, next slide, please. And after you have opened the store, there are ongoing supports also that, that the franchisor will give you. But are those sometimes some franchisors have 24-7 hotlines. So anytime you call them, if there's a problem, they will be there to um, offer solutions and give you advice. Okay. And there's also product research and development. Like I mentioned earlier, this is very expensive and the franchisor, but where will the, the franchisor get the fund for that? From the royalties that you pay. So they will develop the product, develop service, etc., so that you can have additional revenue streams and uh, make your brand naman exciting because you can't have the same product all through your five year. Uh, contract with the franchise owner. Marketing and advertising, this will also be done for you by the franchisor, especially the uh, system-wide advertising. The franchisor will be in charge in um, making sure that the brand awareness is there and the brand equity is improved nationally. Okay, It is your role naman to develop the brand awareness in your local community. Okay, And of course, ongoing training because there's always a better way of doing things. So next slide. What are the challenges of franchising? Um, like we mentioned, franchising is not for everybody. Okay. Uh, if you cannot follow, then maybe if you're creative, then maybe you are entrepreneur material. But in franchising, there's an operations, set, uh, operations manual that you have to follow and you are bound by the franchise agreement. So any... Um, if you do not follow your operations manual, that might be a reason for you to breach your, your franchise agreement. So consistently follow the company's standards and system. Okay, one, there's one price policy um, in most cases. And then you have to work with a franchise or follow operations manual, follow the franchise agreement. There are territorial restrictions. It will be provided in your franchise agreement. Now you can only operate in this area. And of course, um, false expectations, okay? It is not an instant success. The reason why the franchisor got a franchisee is because he believes that the franchisee can manage the franchise better. So it's not like you buy a franchise because, it, because it's a known brand and you will just leave it to earn by itself. In a way, yes, it will, but someone has to manage it. If you need to go out of the country or you have a, a full-time employment, then have someone manage that. So it's a false expectation of uh, an instant success. Next slide, please. So it's just a quick assessment whether um, franchising is for you and what franchise will be uh, good for you. Number one, look at your investment, about investment and uh, how much are you willing to put out? Is this for a cart? And then is, is this for a full store? And when you have this um, capital, look at the ROI you want also. So you can compare um, opportunities. What, ROI, what is the ROI of this particular concept, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, abilities and skills and your goals and passion, of course, if uh, you want to cook, maybe a restaurant is for you. Or if you want naman uh, uh, salon or beauty, maybe that's your line. And of course, it's very critical to make a feasibility plan. Your business demand and the growth potential of the store, discuss this with your franchisor. Okay, next slide. When you look at the market, also look at the businesses that are already existing, your competition, and see if this will work in that particular market. When the franchisor approves your location, that is based on basic criteria. But because you suggested that location, it is assumed that you know 
um, that location better than your franchisor. Okay, so you have to be um, in a way uh, uh, responsible also in the approval of the location, in, in, in selecting the location, because you, in most cases, the franchisor will not, allow, will not look for location for you. You will propose a location to the franchisor. Okay, are you um, more uh, inclined on getting franchises with a high brand equity already? Because sometimes um, people would go to, uh, would get a franchise and location is a more important factor than brand, okay? Others naman, profitability. So sometimes, for example, I live in Laguna and uh, a franchise is uh, uh, available maybe in Cebu. So if that is a better market than Laguna, sometimes you know they they would go for the farther farther location others naman they want it near their homes so it depends on your priority others would want a known brand others naman wants a new brand because that brand might be a prime mover okay others are looking for profit potential doesn't matter where it is it doesn't matter what whether it's a known brand or not but the profit potential so it also depends on what you are looking for others are looking for franchisors experience and credibility because support is very important for them they want a franchisor who will be there when they need them and who will guide them and a franchisor who has already a uh, good um experience in success several prototypes several stores already in the market so they know that if that this franchisor is experienced next slide so where do you start um, there are a lot of, uh, well, we just missed our, uh, no, our, the biggest franchise show in Asia. Uh, but aside from the, from those, there are websites, uh, later, uh, there's a presentation of a lot of brands offering their, uh, no, their products. And, uh, there are also websites that you can go to PFA, for example, has a listing of the franchises. So um, there are also business magazines from the ad advertisements of the franchise source. You will see that um, uh, their offers and what franchises, franchise options you can have. It's very important to do your due diligence, okay? Not because your franchise or said na okay, this is how you will earn, this is the projected sales, etc., etc. Prepare your feasibility plan. Do your own computation also. Look at the franchise, or maybe you would want to interview the franchisees also. How is the support coming from your franchise? Or if your franchisor says that we will do this, we will do that, maybe you can do a check with the franchisees to see if this are really done, to see the the maybe hear testimonies from their current franch franchisees. How about the training and support? How long and extensive? We want to find, you, you would want to know this because the longer the training, the higher the cost is for you because you will already be paying the operating salaries to your, to your staff even before you start making money from operations, okay? Another thing that you should look for, look into is, next slide, um, study financial projections. Like I mentioned, please prepare a feasibility plan also. It's very important that uh, make a projection based on the assumptions that's provided to you by your franchisor because you know your sales potential of the location well and um, based on the ROI that your franchisor probably projects with you, check if this sales projection can really um, yield that ROI that um, was mentioned to you by your franchisor. So know what the break-even point is, the ROI, and then just a simple performa cash flow to you know create a projection on that particular concept and in that particular location. We say that the front next slide, please. We say that the franchising is granting the use of the name, the right? Uh, do your due diligence. Is this franchisor's name or trademark registered with the IPO? Because they have to own their name. If they don't own their name, what right do they have to grant you the right? right? So they have to own that. Check also if there's litigation history, even in Facebook. Are there a lot of complaints on this franchisor? 
etc. So you would want to know that first before you jump into your marriage with the with your franchise. Okay, review the franchise agreement. Consult a lawyer. Okay, uh, next slide. So consult with a lawyer when there's a point in, your, in the sales process where you will be allowed to uh, get the a copy of the franchise agreement for you to review. So have check it and have your lawyer check it also and sit down on the provisions that you are not clear of. And then, um, okay, so what are signs of a franchise scam? Again. Number one, if it's too good to be true, maybe it is. No pressure tactics. You will be putting out thousands, hundreds of thousands of pesos and maybe even millions. So let it rest, okay? Let it, um, think about it well. There's an absence of list of franchises and list of outlets. So that builds their credibility if they cannot show that. So, I mean, you know, uh, maybe it's not, they have not started or maybe it's just a concept. Okay, and vague company profile. Next slide. What are the key questions to ask? Okay, ask about the support program, uh, support pre-opening and during opening, the investment and ROI. Okay, and then when you have that, look at the other concepts and then look at the ROI or the payback period, etc. The right location for the brand, let like uh, as they say, location, 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 the bus. So check if this location is good for this brand. Not because the foot traffic is high, it is good. Okay, so it depends on the market. So the, the brand's target market is also important. And next, how to be a successful franchisee. Um, be a good follower. Uh, do not reinvent the wheel. Follow the operations manual. Follow the system. Follow the franchise system. But that's not to say you cannot make a suggestion. A lot of good products, for example, at McDonald's, a lot of good products were suggested by by a franchisee, your egg McMuffin, I think, and your filet of fish Those were suggested by, by a franchisee. So um, always be in constant communication with your franchisor. Welcome the regular periodic visits of the franchisor because they want you to succeed. Create a business plan. So at the start of the, um, at the, the operation, you will create your feasibility plan. And every year, update it, calibrate it. To see whether you are achieving the sales that, that were projected for you, etc. And be a hands-on manager. The franchisor wants you because he wants you to be an active franchisee. Okay, put in, visit your French, visit your store, uh, put in X number of hours. Sometimes that's even in your franchise agreement, the number of hours that you have to put in, you have to be at the store. Manage your finances. We um we have had uh, clients before who comes to us and tells us that their, I know their franchisees want to uh, exit the, the franchise because he's not making money. So he said, do an audit of your, of your operating, you know, of, the, of his operating expense. And then he found, finds out that nandun pala yung um, load ng bahay, the, the load, the, the, the gas to bring the kids to school. So manage it, make sure that only fin, um, expenses for the operation are in your operating expenses, are in your uh, P&L, because otherwise the, the store is really going to uh, not make money. Always market your store and its products and services. You are the owner. You are the first marketer of your of your brand of this concept. So be an active mark salesperson of that particular of your concept. Be willing to share with your franchise or ideas. Like we said, be a good follower, but that's not to say you cannot suggest. Okay. And um, oh well, that's our last slide. So um, that's it. I hope you learned a thing or two. Uh, as a Final piece of advice, our chairman at Francorp used to say that franchising is good in good times and even better in bad times. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm sure uh, our attendees have lots of questions, but I said earlier, if you have questions, uh, please write this in the Q&A box. No? Uh, we will entertain questions in the Q&A box. And again, please uh, write your names. No? Don't send anonymous questions. Anonymous questions will not be entertained. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, 
So um, the seminar that you heard earlier uh, was first uh, when we had this before, uh, before COVID. We did this for one hour, no? but now we compress it to 20 minutes. So I'm sure you have questions, but you have time to answer to, to, to answer these quest questions later uh, after the program no? uh, for our Q&A. So we'll now proceed to our uh, presenters, uh, our various presenters. Uh, we have several, and they will present several uh, opportunities for us. So on that note, uh, I will now introduce to you our first speaker. She'll be presenting, uh, I think, three brands. Uh, let's all welcome uh, Miss Camille Malto of You Franchise. Camille. Hi, Sir Jake. Thank you so much. Po, and um, thank you for having us. Good afternoon to everyone. Po, sa lahat ng ating attendees. Okay? So, can I have the control? Po? Okay. Okay. Are we okay? So for uh, before I proceed with the franchise opportunities, um, a quick introduction lang po of our company. Next slide po. So for. Oh, so a quick introduction of our company. We are U Franchise. Uh, we are the largest franchise matching platform in the Philippines. So what we do is we match aspiring franchises like you to the right brand. So we have helped over 2,000 um, people already for the past 10 years. And our service is free, so we do not charge you for anything. And also, we are a sister company of Rand Corp and a member of Philippine Franchise Association. So let's now proceed with the different franchise opportunities. Next slide, please. So let's start with the food court concept that is below 350,000. Let's, uh, we have Sweet Corner and Kerimo, which is under one company. Sweet Corner offers um, shredded corn, corn in a cup, popcorn, and Sumo Takoyaki offers a uh, Filipino version of Japanese Takoyaki. Package starts at uh, 280,000. We also have Kerimo. This is the snack and drink in one cup. So um, it's drinks at the bottom and the fries or nuggets on top. And we also have the Filipino's all-time favorite donut. We have uh, Mr. Donut. Next slide. So for another uh, another food cart concept, we have Panther Chicken Bites, the first and only um, flavored chicken bites na nagpapa-franchise dito sa Philippines. So it's really um, a good business and there are a lot of opportunities pa. And we also have Pizza Pedericos. Um, they offer affordable pizza. Their product starts at 42 pesos. And the total investment is around 400,000. Tomachan Ramen Express, um, they made uh, ramen affordable for every Pinoy. Because normally or usually the ramen that we have here is around 200 to 300 pesos. For Tomochan, you can enjoy um, your favorite ramen at, for only 99 pesos. And also, we also have a famous Belgian waffle. Um, they offer delicious and freshly uh, made na uh, waffle. Okay, next po. And... For shawarma concept, we have the shawarma shop, the first and original buy one, take one shawarma here in the Philippines. And also one of the fastest moving brands of shawarma with over 400 branches already. We also have Turks, one of the most uh, loved shawarma brand in our country. Package starts at 1.6 million. Uh, we have JM Shawarma, which is a homegrown brand shawarma from Mindanao with over 100 branches nationwide. The package starts at 380,000 to 1.2 million. For Caleb naman, um, this is one of the pioneering shawarma brands here in the Philippines and um, the um, one of the pioneering shawarma players na nag-retain ng lasa ng Mediterranean na shawarma with a twist of Pinoy. Okay, another for food cart concept, next slide po, is um, the lost bread. So this is a very uh, very millennial dessert place po, with the package starts at 499,000. And then we have uh, mass uh, we have concept 
for mass market, which is bentesilog. Um, so, ito na yung brand na sasagot sa uh, tanong kung saan naabot ang 20 pesos natin. So, this is a really good concept, especially right now na um, people are on tight budget and might be looking for an affordable concept. So, package starts at 500,000 above. And we also have Adobo, uh, Adobos, which is other um, Adobo Connection Group. Package starts at 650,000. Let's now go to the beverage concept. Okay, next slide po. We have uh, Barefoot Guyabano. They offer refreshing drink that is all fruit, all natural, and free from uh, preservatives. So the package starts at 370000 Citruzone mm -hmm. is a freshly pressed um, lemonade. This is very in demand um, right now, especially, yun, especially ngayon na yung mga tao is, um, people are starting to be um, health conscious. And we also have, of course, ang milk tea trays is nandiyan pa rin po. We have Sugar Panda, um, Taiwan's top uh, pick milk tea franchise. And Farron Cafe that offers quality drinks like uh, coffee, milk tea, and um, uh, praf for a very affordable price. Next slide po. Now we have, let's now go to the restaurant um, concept. We have First Angel's Pizza, our favorite buy one, take one uh, pizza. Though they have the air, uh, the dine-in concept, but most of our sales is from um, deliveries. We also have Max's Restaurant with investment starts at 18 million. Cha Time, uh, a very, fam uh, very famous uh, brand for milk tea. We are seeing a lot of opportunities for Cha Time for um, provincial areas. So Figaro also, um, if you're a coffee enthusiast, uh, enthusiast and you wanted to, to have a uh, perfect coffee place, you might consider Figaro Coffee. So and now for the food brands, let's now take a look at the um, essential uh, parts, essential brands. So we first have the, the Generics Pharmacy um, with over 2,000 branches nationwide, although there are a lot of opportunities for, info for provincial areas. Um, Total investment starts at 800000 And for water refilling station, we have two brands here. We have Crystal Clear and H2O Mineral Plus. H2O Mineral Plus offers um, um, mineral water and alkaline. And for self-service um, demand for other services, slide one. So we have here Save 5, a self-service laundry for masses. So for those who have a bigger capital and they wanted to run um, a simple business, um, you might consider Save 5 so since Save 5 is um, very uh, simple and easy to operate. Also, we have um, Brent Gas na nag offer po ng premium quality um, LPG for the masses. Okay. So for those with bigger capital, you might also consider um, uh, franchising a micro lending business. Um, we have AQ Grant and LPNG. So this is very relevant at this time since a lot of businesses na have lost or parang nawala yung big chunk of their cash flow. So they needed an extra uh, capital para makapag-operate ulit. So uh, micro-lending would be a uh, really good help for them. So investment starts at 2.5 million for EQ grant. And we also have SAM. So for SAM, is a Singaporean uh, mat. Okay, so okay. So again, we are you franchise. We'll be helping you po. Um, we'll be giving a free franchise consultation. We will help you match with the right franchise. And also we offer location assistance. So this, uh, those are just some of the um, over 200 brands that we are handling. So if you wish to start or to start uh, your journey, um, your franchise journey and be assisted, you can contact us with the number flash on screen. Thank you so much for and have a good day everyone. Thank you, thank you Camille. Thank you. So no lots much. of brands there for you to choose from. Yeah. So uh, again, Camille will stay uh, for the Q&A late, later. So we now proceed to our next presenter. Our next presenter is the franchise manager of Mr. <laughs> Donut. Uh, she's a CFE, a certified franchise executive. It's all welcome, Ms. Cheryl Carillo. Cheryl? Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Um, on behalf of Mr. Donat, we wish uh, that all of you who have uh, joined our webinar today are good, no? in good health and are safe in the comforts of your home. So uh, I, I will be waiting for, uh, I'm just waiting for the slide. Yeah. So that I can share with you the franchise offer that uh, Mr. Donat has for all of you. Okay. All right. So uh, again, I'm Cheryl Carino. I'm the franchise manager of Mr. Donut. So allow me to introduce first the brand to all of you, so that uh, you will be you will somehow know some uh, interesting facts about uh, Mr. Donut. Um, one slide, please up. Okay. So. Mr. Donut is an international uh, brand. It, it originated in Boston uh, way back 1955. Um, and then it was acquired by uh, the Skin Company, a Japanese firm, and it was brought in the Philippines uh, in 1982, where our first uh, Mr. Donut branch in the Philippines was established. It's in uh, Recto. Uh, our first franchise store was opened 1983 in Binyan, Laguna, and I'm happy to inform and to share with you that our first franchise brand or franchise store is still operational even at this point. Now, 37 years after, Mr. Donut already has 700 uh, franchise shops. We also have 20, more than 20 company-owned shops and over 2,000 key account partners all over in the Philippines. Okay? Now, uh, why is it that uh, you should consider Mr. Donut when you are trying to think of the franchise no, that you would like to uh, partner with. Okay, so first, because Wilster Donut is a well-known brand. So it was mentioned a while ago by Ms. Camille that uh, we are one of the favorites when it comes to snacking or treats here in the Philippines. So we are well-known not only in the country, but also international. We are currently, we are present in uh, Japan, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, okay? Also, we are an established brand. Our 37 years of record, franchise record here in the Philippines uh, proves that our franchise system is strong. And I think that's uh, one of the most important when you are looking for a franchise partner, the stability of the business despite the changing economic uh, status. Okay? Mr. Donut also has a nationwide distribution. Um, when we experience the community lockdown or what we call the enhanced community quarantine where travel was restricted, uh, our shops, though not most of them, but uh, we were able to operate uh, when we have been allowed because uh, we have 20 plants strategically, strategically located in different uh, provinces. Also, for Mr. Donut, we provide continuing support. We have uh, post uh, or after, after sales we provide uh, business operation support, marketing, training, and product and development. I will share with you later on some of the basic support that we provide to our franchises. Next slide, please. All right. Uh, here is a summary of the franchise package that we offer to interested uh, entrepreneurs. Our lowest franchise is at 300,000. The minimum square a uh, meter of, for your location should be at around four. The 300,000 includes the franchise fee. However, it does not include uh, the payments that you need to, to settle with your lessors and the payments for the permits that you need to secure for your business. The packages that we offer includes the basic equipment, uh, also the materials that you will be using when you start your business with us. Now, you will see at the other side of the slide that uh, our product offerings also vary depending on, depending on the type of the shop no, that you will open or you will franchise. Okay? But uh, uh, if you will see there, well, donuts is common to all. But uh, in terms of offering the light meals, for those who will franchise cafe or the dine-in setup, you will be able to offer our meals, the rice meals, and then the snack witches. All right. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. All 
right? Next slide. What's good about uh, Mr. Donut? Uh, next slide, please. What's good about Mr. Donut is we have a low risk offer or a program uh, for those who are starting uh, in the in the in the business. Um, can we go back to one slide, please? One slide up. All right. Thank you. Okay. So Mr. Donut offers a business trial uh, package for those who are first timers in the business or even those the seasoned entrepreneurs. Well, they always say that uh, you also find a match that fits uh, your personality when it comes to business. So our offer, we have a 99,000 uh, package for those who would like to try venturing into a donut uh, business. As you can see on your screen, we have the investment breakdown, which consists of uh, the asset rental. Since you are trying the business for a few, few months, you will not be obliged to buy it. Uh, and then some of the essential equipment and asset that you, of course, need in when you mobilize or when you start your business. Almost half or more than half of the 99000 package is refundable. That will be your product deposit to us and, of course, incidental expenses, uh, which, for example, there will be uh, some damages on the asset that was uh, rented out to you. Of course, we need to, uh, to have some funds to be able to fix that. The security deposit of 50000 it's refundable upon closure. So why is it nice that you, have, you will uh, uh, venture into a business trial? So first, you need to know if uh, you match with the business because sometimes there are businesses that seem to be uh, easy, but when you start doing it, uh, it, may, it may not uh, necessarily match what you want to. All right. Next slide, please. All right. So in terms of support, in terms of the uh, assistance that we give continuously to our franchisees, for operation support, there uh, will be regular business consultations with the operations manager and with the area manager that is assigned to you. You will also have quarterly business review so that we can see your financials if you're making money. And then we can also remedy uh, or implement uh, necessary strategies or initiatives to be able to ensure profitability and sustainability of your business. We also offer rewards and uh, recognition for franchisees to perform. And um, we are happy to inform that our franchisees have a dedicated help desk. This is a hotline for whatever concerns that they have. Like for example, they would like to inquire uh, the time of delivery, they, would, they have questions about their billing. All they need to do is to call our dedicated in terms of marketing, we have continuous ads uh, and promos on the, on the national level and, of course, on the local. And we also support local store marketing activities, particular to uh, the trade area where your stores are located. For training, we also have knowledge and skills development for our team. And we have a training app that uh, our franchisees and their team members can download uh, on their phone so that whatever standards that they need to check or review, it will be easy for them. For in terms of product development, we continuously do uh, you know uh, innovation of our products, and from time to time we launch new products for the market. Next slide, please. All right. So we are happy to know uh, to inform you. We are happy to inform you that we are now looking for interested entrepreneurs. No? who are willing to invest on our shops in Olongapo and Zambales. Um, it is not usual that uh, a franchisor offers sites. Uh, no, usually, when we uh, answer inquiries, the franchisee should be able to have a site. So that's the first step. However, we have now ready to operate uh, stores that's dine in and then uh, take out shops for those who would like to start immediately doing business with this <coughs> Right. So, thank you so much for. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you so much for uh, listening to my presentation. I'm sorry. Um, if you have questions or answers, we will be glad to answer them later. All right. Thank you.
Okay, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Uh, again, um, as I said earlier, um, for those who would like to ask questions, put them in the Q&A box. And, and very important, uh, to our panelists, if you can answer the questions now, uh, please feel free. Huh? Uh, you can just type your, uh, your answers in the questions there. I think there are questions now for uh, Shawarma Shack, for Miss Dana. You may answer these questions now. Uh, but of course, uh, we can also answer these questions later live. So now uh, I think we have more, we have a uh, few more speakers uh, will present to us. We now move to our next. He is the president of Citrus Zone. Very important these days, no? Uh, we need we need our vitamin C. So let's all uh, give our and our ears uh, to our next speaker, Mr. Don Sinita. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, well, of course, we'd like to thank uh, PFA for organizing this webinar for everybody. And we'd also like to thank everybody who uh, participated in the in the webinar today. So we hope, uh, similar to what Ms. Cheryl said, we hope you're all safe and healthy in, in your homes. So I'll be giving you a brief uh, background or presentation of the franchise program of Citrazone Refreshment. So uh, Citrazone Refreshment, uh, next slide please. Uh, we're actually into freshly pressed juices. Uh, we started a sole proprietorship in 2015 and um, opened the brand for franchise in 2016 as a corporation through Citrazone Group Incorporated. Um, uh, from the onset of the company, uh, the goal of Citrazone is really to provide customers with healthy food options, which is very timely now, uh, considering you know, that uh, our best defense at this point in time where we are battling COVID and you know, other uh, diseases and illnesses is really good immunity and good health. So that's what we are promoting uh, to our franchisees and to our uh, consumers as well. So next slide, please. So Citrus Zone is a member of the Philippine Franchise Association. Uh, our franchise program was developed by Francorp, and new franchise are, is, one, is our sales and marketing arm. Uh, so the entire business of Citrus Zone is really um, anchored on the uh, growing market for healthy food and beverage, which we are seeing uh, is growing since 2017 uh, until the next year. So, uh, based on uh, global projections, until 2023, the growth is expected to be at 13.7%. Natural drinks uh, in this segment is expected to dominate the market because it's easy to prepare, easy to consume, and uh, very on the go, uh, yung, uh, yung product. No? Uh, next slide, please. Uh, we are seeing the same trend in the Asia-Pacific region, which is expected to grow at 15.4%. Actually, we're expecting this to grow even more uh, because uh, of the growing awareness for health and wellness. Um, and the growth uh, in Southeast Asia is expected to be 8.6% year-on-year growth compared to 2.9% uh, for carbonated and sugary drinks. Like this. Uh, so for Citrazone, uh, our vision is really to promote health. No, um, through our drinks, we are able to promote a healthy lifestyle. Uh, through our delicious, uh, we have a set of mixes for our drinks. Uh, nutritious, we use all natural ingredients. Affordable, we're among the more affordable um, lemonade and juice concepts around, and accessible because we really want to um, make the product accessible to more Filipinos. So that's actually why we also opened the brand for franchise. Next slide. Uh, so on the Citrus Zone, we actually uh, have two types of products. Uh, we have our lemonades and our newly launched um, food selections. But I'll go first with our lemonades. For our lemonades, we use um, two types of sweetener. We have, our we have our lemon, which uses our home blend sugar syrup. And our honey lemon, which, which uses locally sourced uh, raw wild honey. Um, all our lemons are imported. We source from five different locations uh, worldwide. So that means uh, the supply is really um, available year-round. So we start our price at 44 pesos for 16 ounces, And for our honey lemon, that's our more premium um, line, uh, our, our, our uh, 
more affordable will be at 59 pesos. We also have uh, several add-ons uh, which we continuously um, uh, develop uh, every quarter. Uh, we started actually with our tea and ginger tea in 2015 until we grew the product line into several other uh, add-ons. We use all natural ingredients. Um, we are uh, not inclined to add add-ons that are all syrup based. So as you can see, we have tea. Uh, ginger cayenne pepper, one of our best sellers. We have coffee vanilla since we also offer 24 hour call center locations. We have lychee chia, fruit drops. Uh, we have our cucumber mint, apple cinnamon. We only line which uh, consists of our uh, lemon with lavender, lemon with butterfly tea, lemon with matcha, uh, and our uh, our latest addition is the coconut. Uh, moving forward, uh, we, uh, actually, just uh, this uh, period of the ECQ, uh, when we made our presence more um, more felt in the digital uh, media stream and with our delivery markets, no, we started up offering our fresh selections. This is our food line, which consists of sandwiches and uh, salads. Uh, these are actually available for delivery. Um, and pick up in our commissary and uh, cloud kitchen locations uh, within Metro Manila. Uh, we have our uh, uh, ham and cheese, we have our grilled chicken, we also have our chicken wrap. We have tempura green salad, potato salads, uh, grilled chicken salad, which our customers can enjoy. These are all uh, served and uh, delivered fresh from our commissary locations. Next slide, please. Uh, we are present in uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao and in major malls nationwide, uh, like SM Super Malls, Ayala, Robinson, Vista Star Mall. We're also present in um, other commercial locations, business districts, and schools, um, because uh, which is still in line with our uh, vision to become more accessible to our consumers. In terms of marketing uh, partners, we're in partnership with ABS-CBN for our media mileages. We sponsor uh, with them, uh, Tourist AP, Gandang Gadribais. We're also uh, very present with their digital uh, activations. In terms of our membership perks, uh, if, yours, if your location is uh, in an SMO, we're part of the SM Follow the Yellow Dot campaign, which gives us access to uh, around, uh, five, uh, around 12 million SM Advantage cards EO rewards and E plus cards holders of SM. And we also do Metro Deal as a brand awareness campaign. Next slide, please. Uh, in terms of payment partners, we accept payment by Paymaya, GCAS, and Kashalo. For our delivery uh, partners, we are able to deliver with our delivery partners uh, Grab Food, Dala Food, Sumato, and Food Panda. That's so where customers can enjoy our uh, fresh and healthy drinks, even at the comforts of their home, especially now at the time of the ECQ and GCQ and the new normal. We're also present in digital uh, platforms like Lazada and Shopee to our digital vouchers. Uh, in line with our um, uh, business continuity program, uh, we have also just recently launched our uh, Facebook and Messenger uh, online stores where a customer can uh, directly um, uh, reach out to us through our online menu uh, which uh, which accepts payments uh, via bank, GCash, and um, also with our delivery partners, we can reach their uh, particular locations. Next slide. We've been featured several times at Entrepreneur PH uh, and when in Manila. Next slide, please. Uh, so why invest in Citrazone? Well, firstly, uh, we are a health-driven product. Um, now more than ever, health is a priority among customers, uh, and uh, customers have a place the uh, more value in healthy uh, food options that can uh, help them boost their immunity uh, at all age ranges. Um, we are a, a single product, simple business blueprint, so operations can be very easy for you. Uh, it's easy to operate, easy to locate, and easy to manage and grow. Um, we uh, we, we, we have uh, experience in making sure that our lemons are always uh, safe, fresh, and healthy, 
and that our add-ons are um, remain true to the vision of the company, which is you to offer customers healthy products. Next slide. So for the investment package for Citrus Zone, we actually have two basic sizes. Here we have our four screen meter setup uh, and six screen meter setup. These are the standard sizes among our malls and commercial part commercial location partners. Our four screen meter starts at two hundred ninety thousand pesos, and our six screen meter at three hundred fifty thousand pesos. This already includes the franchise fee of one hundred twenty thousand, the cart, the juicing equipment, crew training crew uniform and initial inventory. The initial inventory is around uh, 30,000 pesos in terms of value and around 70,000 in terms of sales yield. Normally this lasts around uh, one week to 10 days, uh, depending on the store performance. Um, so generally once the cart is rolled out, you get ready for offer rate. Uh, uh, the remaining things you have to uh, manage na lang are the, these arrangements with the mall, your business permits, uh, our royalty fee is 3% of the gross sales every month, and national marketing fund of 1% of the gross sales every month. This is um, a royalty fee and national marketing fund are waived on the first month of, of, of the first three months of operation. The term of the franchise is three years. Sorry, can we go back to the previous slide, please? Um, the term of the franchise is three years. After three years, renewal fee is 50% of 50% of the franchise, which is 60,000. And that's good for under three years. Uh, the local marketing fund is not something that we collect. We just require all franchisees to um, engage in local marketing uh, uh, through our uh, through our guided uh, local marketing templates. Next slide, please. So these are examples of our store setups. We have our four screen meter cart. We also have our four and six screen meter kiosks, depending on the mall requirements. Uh, next slide, please. We customize the look of the cart based on the mall preference. Uh, we also do outdoor carts and take-out counters. Next slide, please. In terms of franchise source support, uh, we actually have a franchisee portal that is available for all our franchisees. You are given your uh, unique access to uh, online ordering, online sales reporting, uh, which uh, also generates uh, reports for you. Uh, so that you are able to keep track of your costs, you're, you're able to keep track of your sales based on your target. So this uh, uh, helps you and also helps our back office to uh, give you support in terms of uh, business review, which we do uh, quarterly, uh, store visitations, which we do on a monthly basis, and also our rewards and incentive programs for franchises. Uh, as for our corporate social responsibility, of course, Citrozone, uh, we are also very uh, concerned about the envir environmental sustainability of our operations. So we use paper cups in our uh, operations. We also use uh, biodegradable straws, uh, biodegradable takeout, uh, plas uh, takeout bags as well. Uh, for those locations that do not allow um, even biodegradable straws, we have paper uh, uh, straws and paper takeout uh, options as well. Uh, also, a percentage of our sales goes to Young Focus Philippines, which supports the uh, underprivileged children of Tondo, Manila, in terms of uh, care, education, um, so that you know they get to see a good future. So there's actually something that uh, we don't pass on to the franchisees, we don't pass on to the customers. This is actually uh, um, collected through the royalty fees that we, that we uh, get from store revenue. So generally, uh, since it's, it's a percentage of our sales, around 30% of your royalty fees really goes towards our charity uh, partnership with Young Focus. Next slide, please. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, that concludes my presentation. So should you have other questions, uh, we will be glad to answer them through our Q&A um, uh, uh, section. And I think during the later uh, parts of the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Don Sanita. Of uh, Citrus Zone, tamang tama, no? Sa init ngayon, uh, sarap mag-juice. We still have two more uh, franchise presenters uh, uh, waiting for, uh, to, to present their uh, respective uh, brands. But before that, uh, it's very important uh, for businesses these days no? to go digital. So we're happy that uh, we are 
we have uh, with us uh, the vice president and head for a small business group of PLDT Enterprise to talk to us the essential technologies uh, for business businesses after ECQ. No? After ECQ. So on that note, let us all welcome Mr. Chito Franco. Sir? Thank you. Thank you, Jake. And uh, good afternoon to everyone. And on behalf of PLDT Enterprise, it's my pleasure to be joining the PFA for today, today's session. And I'll be discussing technology essential to starting a business after ECQ. I know mo most of us are excited to get back on track by investing either on a new franchise or a existing business. So this to put us into perspective, I'd like to zero in on what's happening today. So next slide, please. So when the ECQ was first implemented, a lot of it, a lot of us saw it as a temporary situation. Nobody realized that it will affect us, our daily lives and also affect our business in a big way. So as we draw near lifting of ECQ, this next phase of the business is what we call in PLDTS, day zero. And come day zero, a lot of businesses will have to totally reinvent themselves huh? and look into their operations. And today, we have to adapt and try to figure out what's, what's next after ECQ. And a lot of the questions in their minds are, how do I restart my business after ECQ? Where can I get new working capital? What will be my new normal? And how do I adjust my new my business to this new normal? So next slide, please. Again, uh, we want to transition. And because the local MSME market has been largely traditional, a lot of, it, a lot of us had physical stores. We call this high contact. So this is very, very much physical. And this is pre-COVID. When ECQ came, uh, almost 80% of the businesses had to shut down, except for a few essentials, uh, those who are in either food or in other essential items. So uh, we have to quickly find out and, and continue to serve our customers. So a lot of them shift to, to what we say, local, con local low contact and online presence. So this mode of business is starting to gain traction. And what we feel what would happen is that in the new normal, a lot of the stores would have to be in low contact physical mode and high engagement through digital or an online store. Next slide, please. Under the new normal, uh, brands must look into ways to address their preferences for a low physical contact and increase in virtual interaction. So this is where we say in a low contact physical store, and especially now that the GCQ uh, guidelines are, are coming out, you need to put in tools like social distancing and some queuing tools. Uh, you need to invest on a new way to, for, for your point of sale system, maybe a QR code so that it's less interaction and maybe even take orders in advance and, and therefore you need advanced order tools and maybe invest of course in your own takeout and delivery system. Uh, those businesses who want to be engaged on the online should look at investing on online marketplaces. And, and of course, you have to have your own online ordering system, your own payment tools, uh, and work with different uh, fulfillment partners. And of course, be able to collaborate to have your own ecosystem in your business work with you. So you'll be talking about your supply chain, your uh, suppliers, and of course, your own employees. And this is how we define us our new business normal. Uh, we want your business to be discovered online. Uh, you want to be able to be ordering online and then have your customers be able to either choose your menu online. And of course, you also have to have a payment facility online and work with your different uh, delivery partners online. Next slide, please. So with this, we've identified five key pillars that most businesses should consider in implementing their business operations in the new normal. Let's start first with a very, very basic, and of course it starts with a very solid and reliable connectivity backbone. And this will serve as your basic gateway in the new normal of doing business. Uh, we in PLDT, of course, have been, have been preparing for this. Uh, and in the last few weeks, the internet usage has skyrocketed way over the roof. And uh, we're happy to tell our viewers that we are very, very well prepared for the bandwidth to be able to serve the business requirements of our uh, customers. And uh, a lot of the businesses have also upgraded their online presence in the light of ECQ. And while we have many internet solutions, we especially identified uh, two basic 
like uh, connectivity solutions for our MSME customers. One is our PLDD Fiber Biz, uh, which is our fiber uh, to your business. And of course, our Smart Biz LTE offers. These packages, of course, provide users with speeds of at least 25 Mbps without breaking the bank. So a lot of, a lot of our uh, customers listening right now and a lot of our potential new investors would want to invest on the right connectivity partner, which is, of course, we would be, we'd like them to know more about us in PLDT and Smart. Next is we want to be able to, sorry, can we go back to the other slide, please? Thank you. Uh, you want to be able to invest in your own collaboration tools. These are either, you start with the basic chat apps, and then you have your office business apps or your digital collaboration apps. So we have in PLDT, we can offer and we can provide uh, basic collaboration apps like uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, Google Hangouts, uh, Google Meet, and of course, uh, the other available uh, on, on, on the consumers will be Viber and of course, uh, Facebook Messenger. Uh, next, you want to also invest in your own pay payment platforms. Um, with PLDT, uh, we have our, as part of our, our companies, a group of companies, we have PayMaya, and PayMaya can provide uh, different uh, solutions to help our customers, whether it's paying online or just simply transferring funds from one account to the other. And of course, the other ways to, to be, be able to pay would be through bank transfers and through other fintechs. Uh, next will be the how do you are how you are able now to capture the orders online. So it's either if it's your physical store, you would want to invest in your own point of sale system. Or, of course, you use your franchise order tools. A lot of franchises have their own uh, franchise order tools. And you want to make that available as well online. So you might want to take a look at how to integrate maybe posting your, your menu on Facebook or, or some other um, uh, portal and be able to accept orders online. And lastly, and this is something that we advise all our, our MSMEs, is we want to be able to uh, tell, uh, tell our MSMEs to look for the relevant marketplace for you. So it's either you, you go to a, a relevant marketplace for your business, which is probably in the food business, or maybe even join local barber communities, uh, look at even DTI as a marketplace and all the other marketplaces out there, which is really relevant for your business. And these are just some of the tools that we think that the, the franchisee or investor would need in navigating in this new normal. Again, the, the, the basic principle is low contact and frictionless, meaning you say you can actually uh, conduct business with very low interaction, uh, this face to face, and a lot of the interaction can be put online. And, and a lot of these tools uh, we have with PLDT and SMART. Next slide, please. And while this new mode of work or, or day zero, as we, as we say in PLDT, has yet to take form for some businesses, we at PLDT are committed to enabling our customers to ride on this wave of change. And I remember this is the best time for all our customers, all our franchisees and investors to take a to look at all the technologies available for them to be able to maximize the, uh, the reach of uh, new, reaching new customers as well as maximize how our customers can discover us and pay online. And to end, I'd like to share a very quick way for all of you to get started on this new normal. Next slide, please. Upon scanning the QR code uh, in, in the screen right now, uh, you can actually sign up or inquire for the services I mentioned earlier. And uh, together we'll figure out I mean, how to make your businesses reach its full potential. And of course, successfully pivot in this new age or new normal of work. And with that, uh, we'd like to thank uh, PFA for this opportunity. And uh, PLDT uh, is here, one with you. But I'm Thank you, Mr. Ramon. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ch Chita Franco of PLDT. Thank you. And of course, you know, for those who want to ask questions, it's not only the attendees, even the franchisors, huh? they can ask questions now to uh, uh, Mr. Chito Franco, PLDT. Again, PLDT, thank you for your support. Uh, uh, we really appreciate this, your, your support to PFA. And uh, as, as you said, so now we're not in a contactless uh, 
contactless business, but still with wide wide reach. No? And definitely, PLDT can help you with this. And now we have moved to our next uh, presenters. We now move to a food business, a very, a very a famous uh, burger brand. No? So we now move to our next speaker. She's the she's the air business manager for Mega Manila of Minute Burger. Uh, let's all welcome Miss Kay Antioho. Okay. Thank you very much, Sir Jake, for the introduction. So. Hello everyone to our, our, to our, our um, viewers and attendees. No? So again, I am Kay from Minute Burger. And um, before, before, uh, before um, starting my presentation, allow me to have a quick introduction about the brand. So who is Minute Burger? Oh, whoops. And so, um, Minute Burger is an established food manufacturer for over 35 years under the food service division of Leslie Corporation, also known as Clover Chips. I hope you're all familiar with Clover Chips. Um, next slide, please. A country's leading, uh, we are one of the country's leading burger chain that offers live and take on sandwiches and the family of over 600 stores nationwide and still growing. So Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So currently, if we have 600 stores nationwide na, uh, na nag-operate, um, lahat po nung existing stores natin ay franchise na. So we are no longer operating um, uh, company-owned stores. So um, if we have attendees here or participants here that um, living across, uh, living outside Metro Manila, we have actually regional offices um, around the country. So for North Luzon, we have um, Urdaneta office and Bulacan office. For South Luzon, meron po tayong Batangas office. For Visayas region, meron tayong Ido, Ido, and Cebu. And then for Mindanao, we have Davao and CBO. So if you are interested to apply or to in and to inquire, um, just uh, check the nearest uh, regional office in Yuko. Next slide, please. All right. So for those who are wondering or curious about the... Um, the look of Minute Burger stores. No? So we have actually three different store orientation or store type. So we have the I type, which is the most common na um, look ni Minute Burger na makita natin sa labas ngayon. No? So this is, ito yung, pinaka ito yung pinaka common na um, isura or typical na isura ng Minute Burger stores. Minute, minute Burger stores. The next one is the L type. Ito po is applicable for those sites na may provision to open two sites. Ang pinaka um, perfect example po nito ay yung mga spots natin na nasa corner lot and then may chance or may provision na i-open siya two sides so that we can um, pattern siya doon sa L-type natin. And then the next one is yung U-type po natin. Ito po yung mga stores natin na three sides open. Applicable po ito sa mga stores natin na, or sa mga sites natin na mas malaki doon sa standard dimension natin. Uh, sa standard dimension na uh, nire-required po natin. No? So, um, the reason why I mentioned po yung um, store orientation natin because the total investment for Minute Burger franchise will really de depend po or yung malaking factor o major player bakit nagbabago yung or tumataas yung investment ng mga franchise natin is because of the construction cost ng mga stores natin. Depending on dun sa, yung, we have several factors kasi affecting. So number one is the store type. Number two, or store, or store orientation. Number two is um, the dimension. Of course, meron po siyang nagmamatter yung dimension natin. And then the next one po is yung um, construction type natin. May it be a ground up or um, interior fit out. When we say interior fit out stores po, meron na tayong um, existing or structured na location and then i-renovate na lang natin siya para maging minute burger store. Whereas kapag ka, um, ground, up, ground up naman na tinatawag natin, from scratch, doon talaga tayo magsa-start ng construction ng mga stores natin. So, um, definitely, mas malaki yung magiging construction investment natin pagka na-ground up tayo ng store. Next slide, please. 
Yes. All right. So for as for the in uh, as for the investment package na offer ni Minute Burger, ang constant um investment package po na meron tayo is um 435,000. As you can observe, hindi unlike I mean unlike other brands po na merong several or merong different variety of packages sila na offer. So kay Minute Burger, currently isang package pa lang, isang package lang po tayo which is yung 435,000 natin for two stores. Just like our burgers po, naka-buy one, take one din yung franchise na franchise, franchise fee natin. No? So, um, yung 435,000, this includes the franchise fee for two stores. Uh, processing fee for two stores. Refundable stock bond for two stores, 75,000 for each store. Total of 150,000 for two stores. Um, use of goodwill. Basic personal training and um, notary public. As for the initial, uh, for the additional investment po natin, ito yung um, uh, additional investment natin for our construction and store equipment. So again, mentioned ko po kanina, um, kaya hindi natin siya um, pinakage ng buo because I cannot really, or we cannot really give you um, exact figure doon po sa magiging um, package natin dun sa magiging um, construction cost natin because meron nga po tayong factors or meron tayong, yeah, meron tayong factors that need to be considered dun sa construction cost po natin. So, minention ko kanina yung dimension, yung store type, and then yung um, construction type po natin. Pero just to give an idea po dun sa viewers natin at saka dun sa mga attendees natin. No? So, rough estimation natin for for the store construction at the minimum minimum of 18 square meters na store natin yun po yung standard na uh, site di na dimension natin construction po natin roughly around na sa 350 to 400,000 po per store so meaning um please take note that uh, 435,000 nakapackage for two stores tayo, meaning license to operate two stores tayo, plus construction cost natin around 300 to 500, 300 to 400,000. So, ang uh, initial inv ang total initial investment for your four store for your first store is around um, nasa 700,000 po. Now, kung mag open tayo ng second store, since nakapackage for two stores tayo, yung magiging investment na lang po natin is yung para doon sa magiging construction cost natin and equipment. All right, so next slide, please. All right, so why choose Minute Burger? Number one is that yung uh, choose Minute Burger because of the business model na meron kami and yung system na um, ino-offer namin sa mga magiging franchisee natin. Second is yung experience natin sa industry. Again, uh, we are uh, over three, 35 years na sa industry natin. No? And then the fast uh, paced and dynamic value for investment sa mga franchisee natin and yung support programs na ino-offer natin or ibinibigay natin sa mga franchisee natin such as site sourcing and site selection support, marketing support, training assistant, store operation support, R&D, commissary and logistics. As for the um, site sourcing and site selection, just like other brands, I think na, na Rene ko mentioned earlier, no? um, we are encouraging our franchisees or our applicant to um, have their own proposed site or bring their own site, subject for approval, the minute burger, based on uh, dun sa magiging resulta ng feasibility o ng trade area study na gagawin po ng management or ng team. Next slide, please. All right, so because of the current scenario na meron po tayo ngayon, um, si Minute Burger ay may ready na new franchise package because of, again, the current scenario na meron tayo. So for those who are interested, sign up now and, and get a special promo package po ni Minute Burger. And then to satisfy your cravings, let me share lang, no? to satisfy your cravings po kay Minute Burger, Kindly check our menu sa Food Panda, Lala Food, and um, Grab around the country po to. So on Visayas and Mindanao, makikita natin si Minute Burger. And then just give us a call at eight seven seven six seven seven four zero or 09 Again, thank you very much PFA for having Minute Burger. Um, as a presenter, kindly, la kindly like our uh, Facebook page also. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kay and Tiyoho of uh, Minute Burger. So, yun pala. Minute Burger, hindi lang burger and buy, buy one, take one. No? Pati store, yes, sir. buy one, take oh, one. <laughs> Pati ang franchise package natin, buy one, okay. take one. Thank you, thank you again. Now, we moved our last, but certainly not the least, no, presenter. 
uh, to present to us her uh, franchise package. No? Let's all welcome the president of Living Water, Miss Belle Prades. Ma'am? Hello, Sir Jake. Hello, PFA. And of course, to the PFA, thank you for always having Living Water in most of your programs. It's our pleasure, ma'am. Right, next slide, uh, please. So, by the way, again, I'm Belle from Living Water. So I'd like to present our business. Uh, of course, our business is part of the essential is... Uh, excuse ngayong pandemic, kaya nga talagang best business, crisis-proof, pandemic-proof. Actually, ang dami ng pinagdaanan ng, ng business namin. Ilang bagyo na, ilang baha, ilang lindol. Pero ngayong pandemic, eto yung pinaka-challenge sa business. And whoever survived this pandemic crisis, eh talagang battle-tested company. And we are so Kaya thankful nito. for that sa Living Water na um, eto yung naging business Kaya namin. Ako And syempre, Ay, and syempre, um, kailangan natin makilala yung company. Kasi choosing the companies, of course, it's a different thing eh. Kasi partner mo yan eh. You need to have the same vision. You need the same you need to have the same commitment. So, of course, I'd like to introduce uh, briefly our company. So, our company is Living Water System Incorporated with a short name of LWSI. So, our company is an ISO certified company since 2009. So pag sinabi nating ISO certified, of course, we are providing world-class standards, products, and services. So living water is only is not only limited to water. So aside from the water, sa lahat ng klase ng water treatment from commercial, industrial, household, wastewater, seawater, kahit anong klase pong water problem nyo, we will always have an equipment that's fitted for that. Pero apart from living water or the water treatment, we also have a... We are also a direct importer, so that is why you can really have good quality products and at the lowest price because we import that ourselves. Apart from being an importer, our company is also into plastic manufacturing at isa po to sa tumatabo ng business namin ngayon. Dahil ang daming water refilling station na nangangailangan ng mga bote dahil sarado yung mga ibang plastic manufacturing at sa amin lang yung bukas, talagang ubos-ubos yung stock namin, mainit pa sa makina Na truck. Apart from that, we are also having our own um, digital and advertising industry under DTI. So kami rin po ang nagpiprint ng aming mga advertising, ng aming mga marketing collaterals, labels, and everything na kailangan namin sa business. And also, we have our home care. So sa home care naman, ito yung uh, na-upgrade na siya ngayong quarantine season. Ay, ito ay providing additional business um, potentials para sa aming living water franchise kasi alam namin na lahat ng bahay or opisina na dinideliveran nila ng tubig ay kailangan din ng ano ng mga kape, kailangan din ng mga sabon, di ba? Kasi naguhugas ng plato. So that is why additional income yan. And the last um, division na meron ng living water is our construction. Because we renovate stores and we make things easy for them as a franchise. And with that, our company is really very competitive by all measures. Kasi lahat na sa amin na we are in full control of our business. Alright, next slide please. So... Why you should invest living water? Unang-una, we have the best quality equipment. So talagang ang living water ay kilala in terms of quality. Kaya we have maintained that for the past 16 years. And of course, in a franchise, it is really very important to have the after-sale support. Kasi franchise should be a system eh. Na-rape ito sa Pilipinas eh. Na pag pinagamit mo lang, mo lang muna yung pangalan mo, sinasabi na nilang franchise. Pero the real franchise concept, una, you must have a system. Dapat turn ka solutions. Dapat may support. At ang pinaka-importanteng support dyan is yung after-sale support. So that is why sa Living Water, we have proven that we have the best after-sale support. It is part of the audit of the ISO every year. And we provide trainings for the turnkey solutions. Kasi syempre, 
part nga yan ng pagiging franchise. You need to assist franchise. So dito sa Living Water, Turnkey Solutions yung binibigay namin. Hindi lang binibenta yung makina, but Turnkey Solutions na mag-ooperate yung management, yung how to do the business, how to operate the business, how to monitor the business. So eliminating the birth pains of the business na may encounter nila yung trial and error, wala na po yun because Turnkey Solutions ang binibenta ng Living Water. Next slide, please. So, as to investment packages, nagbabary po ito. So, depende po ito sa kung anong uh, machine ang pipiliin nyo. You can always ask naman. Uh, we also have our Facebook page. You can check as to what packages. Kasi always remember, there's no equipment that fits for all. It should be based on your water quality because technical ito, when your water and your equipment matches, automatically yung uh, magiging product mo ay pasado sa kahit anong lab test at sigurado na yung equipment mo tatagal. The reasons why kasi na yung mga ibang equipment laging nasisira kasi hindi match. So meron itong matching yung water at yung quality ng equipment. Alright, next slide please. So as to the franchise uh, support program, of course, edge talaga ang known brand. Yung kilala ka. Kasi you have, as for us, we have established the brand for the past 16 years. And we have um, already proven ourselves in terms of this. At isa pa dyan sa franchise support namin, of course, meron kaming endorser. At hindi basta-basta yung roster of endorser namin. From Ann Curtis, Sarah Jeronimo, now we have Piolo Pascual. At ang pinakamaganda, nakaredy po kami sa pandemic na ito. Bakit? Living Water has our own mobile app. My Water, Water Delivery. So, it's like ordering water at your fingertips. So, hindi kailangan tumawag, hindi kailangan ipalo. At pag, pag nag-franchise ka ng Living Water, my opening assistant our team will go there para supportahan kayo, the mascots, so kung ano yung franchise uh, support na kailangan nila during their opening from a party to holo regardless of nasaan ang location. Location nyo, we can always accommodate that. Next slide please. So, of course, ito yung aming Living Water team at isingit ko lang yung aming bagong franchise concept, yung Living Smart. So, yung Living Smart is a convenience store and a water refilling station in one. So, you can check our Facebook page as to the details of that and it's very affordable. At ngayon, we have just offered yung aming Living Smart on Wheels. So, grocery stores on wheels. So, pwede siyang umilis and it's very, very, very affordable. Kasi dito sa Living Water, we work talaga with the bayanihan. Like we have uh, bridging programs now kasi alam namin madaming nawala ng hanap buhay. So nag-offered kami ng pantawid hanap buhay. Pwede kang mag-dealer ng water in your location para mas mapabil para kahit papaano uh, kumita. Kasi alam natin lahat ngayon ay majority ngayon ay stop ang income. So ang ating expenses hindi humihinto, hindi nagsastop. So it's very important yung continuity ng income. Kaya really yung choice of business is really very important kung ano yung pinili mo because not all business are operating right now. We are just lucky na we are part of the essential kasi hindi ka mawawala kapag ka basic necessity product. So that is why uh, dito sa Living Water, hindi limited ang iyong business opportunity. Ang dami-daming pwedeng pagkakitaan. And you can check us at Living Water System main Facebook page for more business opportunity. So thank you. That's all. So thank you, PFA, again, for always having us thank here. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bell Prades of Living Water. Thank you, thank you. So now we move to our question Q&A. Huh? Q &A. But before that, uh, yes, our president you know, who gave us a welcome remarks earlier was supposed to present no? to present a her brand, but she has to leave for for a important uh, a meeting. But she was to present her own brand. It's Orispa, Orispa. No? So if you have any inquiries, also you may email Orispa franchise at gmail.com. No? Orispa franchise at gmail.com. So now we go to our questions. No, it's uh, we go to our first. I just give some questions here. Uh, first, for all our 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 uh, panelists. No, uh, it's a recurring question. It's a recurring question. It's about it's about. Um, COVID, no? COVID. Is, is franchising still good uh, in terms of COVID? Uh, so if it's good, uh, 
what are you doing uh, with your business to to to, to adapt to this uh, to this uh, to this change? No, so this all this is all for the for the franchisors. Another question for all franchisors is: Do you provide uh, do you provide back office support like accounting, bookkeeping, um, um, inventory management? So these, these questions are all for the franchisors. And one for Miss Dana Conetta is: How do you how do you spot a uh, business that's, that's only a fad, that's only a fad. So, so these are the first questions we'd like to throw at you. Uh, who'd like to start uh, about the COVID, COVID-19? Is, franch is, is franchising still good in, that, in terms of COVID? Uh, Don Sunita, are you ready? Uh, do you have an answer? Uh, for sure. That? Okay. Uh, well, as mentioned by Ms. Dana during the earlier presentation, uh, the beauty with franchising is that you, know, you get that support uh, when you are with a franchise partner. Um, that means that uh, all the research and development, all the tools that are necessary to survive in a situation such as, such as this um, will be readily available for you uh, with a rich source of information that's available to your franchisor. Um, there's also value in your franchisor being a member of um, of, uh, of associations like the PFA because there's really a rich source of information there, uh, best practices uh, among different brands that are that they are able that we are able you know to practice into our own stores. No. Yes. Also, I would like to reiterate uh, what Miss Bell said earlier that um, in this time and season, it's really important to be you know selective with the brand that we choose because it has to be relevant with the current situation. Is it an essential? Is it something that would protect the the, the consumers in terms of health? Um, uh, so yeah, in that sense, um, franchising will be uh, a less of a risk compared to you know setting up your own business because you know like you'll have to uh, develop your branding from the ground up, and it won't be very easy at this day and time unless you already have the support of your franchisers and their um, affiliated franchise organizations. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Dan Sunita. So less risky huh, if you go to franchising. How about you, Cheryl? Any inputs on, 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 the, on the question? I agree with uh, what Don mentioned a while ago. And I think it was mentioned also by Ms. Dana that uh, for those who are having doubts, should they go into business uh, given the post-COVID um, uh, situation or the current business situation that we are into? I think, yes, you should. But um, I would like to say what Ms. Dan said a while ago that you should take all the necessary financials. Um, you need to be, um, it's relevant right now because uh, you will be investing your money in the hopes that you will be able to get a great return for it. So it's important that you study what you would really like, what I think there's something wrong with the connection. Uh, so I will just listen first to Miss Bella. I don't take you down, Miss Bella. So franchising, is it still good to go to franchising? Kahit na may problema? Ah, of course. Lalo na po. Kaya nga natin sinasabi, yung choice of business is really very important. At lahat naman ng difficulties, lahat ng challenges, lahat ng irritations, lahat ng problema, crisis natin, there will always be a business solution. There will always be a business opportunity. Just imagine if you can make solution to our problem today, to our crisis today, to our challenges today, that is a business opportunity. And in terms of franchising, di ba ang dami-dami? Like sa amen, sa basically sa amen, sa water, na talagang tuloy-tuloy, hindi naman tayo pwedeng hindi uminom ng water. And itong, itong time na to is very good for them because they have all the time to plan. Kapag ka kasi on the normal normal life natin prior to COVID, wala tayong oras eh. Everybody is busy to study on the business. Pero ngayon na naka-quarantine tayo for two months, this is our best time para aralin. Um, kaya nag ng webinar, this is a good decision. Making their time productive, making their quarantine time very productive. Pag-aralan nila ngayon kasi marami pa rin naman na may pera at malaking realization po talaga ito ngayon. 
sa bawat isa sa atin sa pagpili ng business. Maraming may business pero everybody has to stop. Kaya sa amin, uh, mas nag-expand kami ng business ngayon kasi nakita namin yung kakulangan, una sa tubig, pangalawa, yung sa consumer goods. Kaya namin sinet up at the midst of this COVID, yung aming living smart on wheels. Kasi nakita namin, kulang-kulang, pumunta ka sa mga convenience store, kulang-kulang yung consumer goods mo. Wala kang mabibili. So ngayon, yung concept namin is hindi mo kailangang lumabas. Kasi imagine mo, after this quarantine period, everything would be different. Eh. It's not the same Time. It's not the same as when we closed, as when we started the quarantine period. So everything would change. We will have definitely a new normal and a new normal is being conscious with social distancing. So how can we adapt to this? Una, kailangan, sabi nga, yung online. We've been into there. Kaya ang aming Living Smart concept, it is a convenience store and a living water and a water store in one and meron kaming mobile app so they can order hindi third party diba we don't use third party we can deliver their grocery together with their water for free so ito yung biggest advantage na nakita namin at na prove namin ngayong quarantine period and remember kahit tumigil lahat tayong kumita ang expenses natin hindi tumigil we spend every day for everything lalo na sa food so ibig sabihin hindi po pwedeng tumigil ang income how can you sustain income choose a business that has continuity and okay, of ma'am. course our company is one yes ma'am so nag-adapt na by on wheels na bale ay on wheels so how about for uh, perspective ng isang consultant no uh maraming questions pa rin eh may mga questions na to answer the question about uh, franchising in times of covid so may we hear from dana from miss dana coneta from point of view of a consultant is is franchising still worth uh, investing in Yes, Diana. I think you're uh, muted. <laughs> no. uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, um, yun nga eh, I, 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 we discussed it during the first part of my, ano, no, my presentation. Franchising is the perfect way to get into entrepreneurship. Um, right now, even during COVID, kasi alam naman natin, if you start, uh, kasi unang-una, gusto mo ba mag-business? Kung gusto mo pumasok sa isang negosyo, franchising is always the better option. Okay? Lesser ang risk, tested and proven system ang gagamitin mo, wala kang learn, ang learning curve mo, it's not a step kasi tuturuan ka. Anyone can do it. But I think during these times, focus on the, ano, on what type of businesses you will get into. Kasi meron tayong mga tinatawag na mga essential goods. So maybe look at concepts that are on the upswing. Food, water, necessities, pharmacies, related to medicines, related to, to, to you know, medical. Um, staying at home, ano yung mga entertainment, uh, entertainment or making the, the, the house comfortable. So yung mga, and, and the list goes on, no? if they will make a research, maraming mga webinars, and even PFA, I know you have shown yung mga business opportunities in the new normal. Even, even nga yung mga home exercises, yung mga yoga, for as long as you do it, kasi yung mga gyms, parang maybe that might not be uh, relevant right now, but they have been doing uh, pivot ways on how to make gyms and, you know, those things uh, relevant also. Or um, you can also do during the new normal. Pero meron na mga apps na you can do uh, private sessions with the trainers. So a lot of these peop- a lot of these um, concepts that uh, we think are not essential are pivoting their business models so they can also serve and be relevant even in the new normal. Thank you, Diana. So uh, as Frank Corp, because you have questions here also, you have questions about business people who want to franchise the business so you can help them, especially with ideas about uh, yung mga home, mga home service right. or mga gym sa home ganun. Oo, oo, oo. Yeah, franchise is a consulting firm. So if you have a business and you plan on franchising it, we develop your franchise programs. We prepare your strategy, we prepare your operations manual, your franchise agreement. That's what uh Francorp does. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. And we also have a quick question here for you franchise. Uh so I'm Marami because you franchise has presented lots of uh of um 
of um, opportunities. So they want like to ask your contact details again, no? and if ah. maybe you would like to share more about uh, your insights about the questions. Okay, thank you, Sir Jake. But before po, um, I'll share our I'll share our contact details. Um, um, I'll add some info lang po, no. I understand kasi na this time, during this time, sobrang hira po na, um, it's very challenging, especially for businesses. So, and yes, and of course, for, um, aspiring franchises then medyo natatakot sila and, um, if this is the best time ba for them to invest, if, um, uh, magiging okay pa ba yung, um, uh, pag, pag invest after the, um, lockdown. So for um, a piece of advice lang po, this is the best time for you to um, explore, learn, and um, kumbaga para explore a different ideas, um, attend some webinars po para uh, makapag, makapag uh, malaman mo yung mga other brands pa na open for franchising. And um, the beauty of franchising really is um, you have your own business, but you are not by the business alone. Okay, so you have the franchise or support, na, especially at uh, this time of pandemic. So just to share with you, we have other brands na nag-ooperate pa rin po. Kung baga, continuous pa rin yung um, operations nila and we have other franchises na um, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po silang um, kumikita or tuloy-tuloy pa rin may business. So like for example, um, we have in, uh, we have Bente Silog. So aside from the deliveries po that they are doing, um, deliveries to different hospital and nakipag-partner na din po sila sa Grab. And aside from that, nakipag-partner na din po sila sa mga um, dormitories for their meal supply. So it's a good um, strategy for... Um, uh, Bente Salog. Also, we have uh, Pizza Federico, so it's doing um, deliveries ng mga frozen goods nila. And for Angel's Pizza naman, um, much, I, I think around 60 to 70 percent po uh, is more on delivery, even before ng ECQ. And yeah, I think for um, aspiring franchises, it's really um, um, take uh, this time, kumbaga, take the opportunity for you to learn and explore other brands and i-process nyo na din po yung mga franchise application. Yun po. Thank you, Sir Jake. And for the for more questions okay, po, no, no, you can yeah, yeah, you can contact <laughs> us at um, you can visit our Facebook, you franchise, and you can contact us at 0917-881-6999. Again, it's 0917-881- 6999. Thank you, Sir Jake. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Camille. We have a question for uh, Mr. Donut. Um, I want a minute burger for a minute burger. Huh? Because earlier you said, uh, minute burger, CK. You said that you have buy one, take one, uh, na, na, na package. The question is can I, can I open one store in Manila and one store in the province? Okay. Yeah, oh, I think I already answered the already question, answer, sir. Yeah. Sa, uh, pero um, okay, okay. to yeah to give an idea and to answer the question, um, si Minute Burger, kasi sir, we have a uh, market development plan na tinatawag. So we are plotting the franchise or are plotting yung mga stores natin na open for um, at least hindi, I mean, maayos natin yung opening ng mga stores, hindi ma-affect yung existing franchises nung bagong stores na mag-open. Nung bagong store mag-open. So, para at least merong um, okay. pagkakaayos, si Minute Burger inaayos niya ng uh, maayos yung market development plan natin. So, to, to answer the question directly, currently, medyo hindi ko po nakikita na um, possible siya because in terms of the store operation din kasi medyo may hirapan si franchises or remember mm -hmm. that Minute Burger is a 24-hour business. Yeah. So, um, what if merong mga um, problem or merong mga yeah, problem na kailangan decision ng um, mabilisan, medyo may hirapan sa operation si um, franchise pagka ganun kasi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Kay. So, there's a question earlier about support, no? Support to franchises. Yung back office. Uh, does, do franchisers do, do this? Uh, support in terms of uh, the accounting, the bookkeeping, inventory management. Do, do you offer this? Uh, it's for all the franchise franchise work. Uh, for Minute Burger kasi sir, um, yung inventory, yung accounting, part siya ng training na ino-offer ni Minute Burger sa mga franchise natin. So, okay. Um, during during franchise's training, tinuturo siya lahat 
kasi we have training for the crew and for the for the franchisee, no? both for the crew and for the franchisee. So, um, parte kasi siya ng training. Pero kung, um, kung ang question is that yung additional support, like kung meron ba kaming pwedeng i-offer na third party na accounting firm na uh, pwedeng i-offer sa mga franchisee natin, currently kasi wala po. I mean, wala po tayong ganun. Uh, pero um, as advice, um, if, especially if yung mga franchisee natin sa multiple um, stores na, as advice po, uh, kuha na sila ng, ng um, bookkeeper or ng accountant outside po para at least mas monitor po nila yung um, financial nung business nila. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. How about the other franchisors? Uh, how about uh, like to share? Or, how about us? Uh, uh, for, for the case of Citrus Zone, po, uh, similar to uh, Minute Burger, uh, we do, it is also actually trained as well during the training, yung financial management, managing cash flow, uh, managing your inventory and stocks. Um, on top of that, if they need uh, help with their uh, like monthly tax reporting or post in accounting, we do have an outsourced accounting that we can um, refer them to. So actually, um, some of our franchises are using um, this provider uh, to do their monthly uh, accounting for them. Thank you, thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Uh, any other sharing? Uh, or as to the, something different? Okay, as yes, to the I'm living well. Okay. As to the living water, same with the previous, uh, tinuturuan namin talaga sila kung paano gumawa ng financial report monthly. Kasi it's really very important that they should know where they are standing. Based kasi dati nung hindi pa namin tinuturo 'yon, parang pag dinanong mo, kumusta ang business? Okay naman. Kumikita ba? Oo, oh, kumikita. Magkano ang kita? Yun lang. Hindi nila ma-assertin. So, as a business kasi, dapat alam natin kung nasaan tayo nakatayo. Ano ba this month? Kita ba tayo? Kung kumita tayo? How much? So, meron kaming binibigay sa kanila dahil water kasi kami, madali lang yung, yung accounting system namin. Diba? So, nilagyan, binigyan namin sila ng format if you fill out lang nila yung mga data doon, ang actual data nila, they can come up with their own finan basic financial report lang monthly kasi it's just water and kuryente, manpower, eh, supply. So, i-categorize lang nila yung kanilang expenses kasi hindi naman lahat ng expenses ay expenses. Meron silang expense na assets naman. So, tinuturo namin sa kanila, part of the training namin, yung pagkakategorize noon. Ito pala yung nasa slide, I, ano ko lang, ito yung aming Living Smart na um, fr franchising din. It's a convenience store and a water refilling station and one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bell. Thank you. Thank you. We have a question for PLDT because uh, Mr. Chito said earlier that uh, they have now a way to make internet faster. No? So, we have a question. Is When will this be available, this uh, fast internet? Uh, Mr. Chito Franco of PLDT. Yeah, uh, thank you for the question, Jake. No, so basically, uh, if it's for fiber, it's location specific. Meaning to say, uh, normally we have fiber. We have a lot of fiber already spanning within the different cities and different provinces. No, so it depends on the area that they are actually operating. If it's a business, for example, in Metro Manila, uh, we will take a look at the location and we will just. All the, all the person needs to do or the business needs to do is just to apply uh, and we will find out whether they have uh, facilities in the area. Uh, the good thing is if it's wireless, uh, which is our this LTE, whenever we, wherever we have uh, wireless uh, LTE broadband, uh, they, can, they can bring it away. They can bring it to their business. They can bring it in their houses. So anywhere if there, there is uh, LTE, they can, they can actually use the solution, the access solution. Okay, okay. Thank you, Mr. Tito Franco. So, uh, so um, for there's another question here for Mr. Donut, no? Uh, for Mr. Is 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 uh, Cheryl back in in uh, on uh, back now? So there's a question here about the ninety nine thousand franchise program, no? So when will the offer expire? I mean, question. Mm -hmm. Well, for this year, it has been running since January, and I think uh, we will continue. Uh, offering that package until December, uh, well, until this year. And uh, if there is a need and there are still uh, more applicants who would like to try the business, 
probably spill over next year, then uh, we will uh, offer it uh, to them as well. This is will this will also be a form of support, uh, given the post pandemic uh, that uh, we will be looking into or we will be facing uh, okay. as soon as it starts to normalize. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you, Cheryl. So no, we're now uh, over time actually, no. So so I think uh, we will now give our uh, panelists the, their opportunity to say their uh, last words, no, uh, on, uh, to our to our pan to our attendees. Uh, any last message or back, uh, that you could would like to share to our attendees now? Uh, let's start first with uh, with uh, our our first no our first presenter, uh, Camille. Yes, to everyone, po na nag, um, we're looking for a franchise. Um, again, like what I've mentioned earlier. Um, Take the opportunity po for you to learn, explore, and discuss with different franchisers po. Okay, and um, this is actually the beauty of franchising. You have the franchisor support naman. So, do not be afraid po um, to try um, the franchise. May bayad ba pag magkuhan sa inyo, pa-consult? Like, if I for, ask. Uh, for you, franchisor, wala po. Hmm, We're giving wala. a free franchise consultation. Okay. Not unless po, um, magpapasite assistance po sila. And then, we can further discuss naman po. Okay, okay. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you so Thank much, you. Let's go now to our uh, next uh, speaker, Karina C. Ms. Cheryl Carino. Um. Hi. Uh, to everyone who would like to know more about Mr. Donut, please uh, email, at, uh, email us at fms at mrdonut.ph. You can also request information on how you can reach us with PFA uh, so that we can provide you more details of I think what I'll be leaving with you is uh, start uh, thinking or today, you know, while we are still uh, on ECQ and some areas on GCQ, now is the best time for us to really look into and study the type of business that we would like to venture in in the future. So you just study it, you just compare, and then um, take note of what has been shared today. And then don't be afraid of inquiring because libre naman yung uh, mag-inquire. It's best that you will be guided uh, for the, because uh, I, I think no, most of the brands that you have heard today, uh, we all wish success when you start venturing uh, into your first uh, business. Okay, so keep safe and uh, we hope to see some of the attendees uh, in our future openings and um uh, we, we we all hope, uh, we wish that uh, everyone will uh, be able to recover uh, this uh, COVID uh, pandemic that we are currently into. Thank Amen you. Amen to that. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. No? And we hope that the, that some of the attendees will also invest on Mr. Donut. <laughs> so uh, now we go now to our to our next presenter, Kanina, see Mr. Don Salita of Citrizone. Hi, everybody. Uh, well, of course, thank you to PFA once again for setting up this webinar for us. It's been very informative for everybody. And thank you also to everybody who joined uh, the webinar. We hope you uh, learned uh, something from the, from the webinar today and that, you know, yeah, that it, it helped you gain more confidence into the franchising industry. Um, for, uh, for those of you who would want to know more about your opportunities with Citrizone, you can email us at partners at citrazonerefreshment.com. You can also connect with us through facebook.com slash, uh, uh, slash citrazon or uh, find us uh, at Facebook, Citrazone Refreshment. We have a promotion for uh, all uh, May signups uh, uh, and that will be for all starts opening until September 2020. Uh, so if you'd like to know more about that, please uh, feel free to reach out to us directly or through you franchise. So thank you very much. Uh, we are praying for everybody's safety and everybody's recovery. And we hope to see you again very soon um, uh, in the opening of in the reopening of uh, most of our stores. We hope to see you as well. So take care and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Don Sinita of Citrus Zone. So now let's lend our ears to our partner, uh, PLDT, uh, Mr. Chito Franco. Again, uh, thank you to uh, PFA for having us. Uh, it's always been a, always a pleasure to be part of PFA. And uh, to our potential investors, our franchisees, uh, please uh, be uh, uh, 
uh, mindful that technology is here. You know, the, the technology to help you is already here, is available. And uh, if you'd like to know more, you can just log in to our website, www.pldtenterprise.com or through any of our digital channels through Facebook, at, uh, just search, search for PLDT Enterprise. And uh, we're here to help. We are one with you. Maraming salamat po. And uh, stay, uh, keep safe and uh, stay healthy to everybody. Thank you, Mr. Chito Franco. Yes, uh, we are one with you also. <laughs> now let's go to our next uh, presenter, Kanina C. Ms. K. Antioho of Minute Burger. All right. So once again, thank you very much, PFA, for inviting Minute Burger for this um, webinar. So um, again, for those interested po na mag-franchise, we are um, conducting um, a free online presentation po. Uh, just visit our uh, website at www.minuteburger.com and our Facebook page, Minute Burger po. And then again, once again, po, to satisfy your minute burger cravings, kindly check our menu in Food Panda, Lala Food, and Grab. Po. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. K. Antioho. And to our last speaker uh, for her last words, we call on Ms. Belle Prades of Living Water. Uh, hello, uh, Sir Jake, and to the PFA again, thanks for always having us. And of course, we always salute you, PFA, for being so relevant, even in this pandemic season. You don't yeah. cease to amaze us from the exhibitions to the any events that you do. You are really amazing. And we are really very proud to be part of PFA, to be member of this organization. Uh, kasi talaga, everything that you do, you really do it with the alam mo yung bonggang bongga mula sa exhibition and in webinars. And for those who want to learn more about living water and living smart convenience store, I would also take this opportunity to invite them kasi weekly meron po kaming webinars. So we we, uh, we conduct webinars two times a week, that's Wednesday and Saturday because if um, best advice na laging binibigay namin sa gustong magnegosyo, never, never get into the business that you don't know the industry. That's very risky. And of course, you have to study that. At para matulungan sila, para pag-aralan yun, gawa ng feasibility study, uh, kailangan nilang uh, um, mag-attend ng aming webinars para well-guided sila. Hindi lang kasi ito dun sa kung magkano ang package. Kasi in terms of package, we have really the cheapest package. We have as low as 20,000 down payment. And yung aming Living Smart on Wheels, nasa 210,000 lang. May ready-made, ready-to-operate business ka na. Pero it doesn't end there. You have to know all the details of the business before getting into it para walang problema. And as part of the lessons, learning, reflections natin sa pandemic na to, always choose the right business dahil uh, we have experienced that ngayon. Kailangan medyo choosy na tayo sa business na pipiliin natin. Dapat yung resilient at pandemic proof. So if they want to check further of our offers, promo, kasi mas maganda po mag-invest ngayong ECQ. Ang dami-dami naming promo ngayong ECQ. So may mga free franchise fee worth 150000 and a lot more. They can check our Facebook page, uh, Living Water System Main. So for other things or informations that they want to know from us. Thank you and Thank keep you. safe everyone. Let's heal as one. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Bell Pradas of Living Water. So there you have it, our, uh, our How to Invest in the Right Franchise Seminar. Uh, we'll be having this again soon. So uh, just, uh, just uh, stay tuned to PFA, to our announcements in Facebook, our website. So uh, we'll be having this soon. But next, next week, we'll have a webinar again on... Uh, Record the road to recovery, you know, the road to recovery. So let's also uh, please be there. Please be there, so that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just I missed. <laughs> I, I missed. Okay. Uh, but uh, I missed our yeah. our our main speaker, uh, uh, Our uh, may I let's listen now to our our speaker on how to invest in the right franchise, Miss Dana Conetta of Francorp. Uh, yes, I would just like to uh, make a plug 
uh, for those of you who are interested to um, have a consultancy, we are Francorp. We are the world's leader in franchise consulting. Uh, visit our website, francorp.com.ph, our Facebook also, francorp.ph, and we will be have a, having a webinar on May 15, 2 p.m. Uh, visit our Facebook for details. Um, last word, we're entering a new normal, new opportunities. Franchising is good in good times and even better in bad times. Thank you, Paul. So again, I have a webinar on Wednesday, this next Wednesday. May 15, yes. May 15, May 15. Right. May 15. Okay. So thank you, Franchise Dana. Franchise your Dana. business seminar. Yes. Webinar. Our, our franchise your business seminar. Yeah. Okay. So for those who have businesses and you want to franchise them, so that's a seminar. You, webinar. You have, webinar. That's the you webinar have to, you have to go to. You, have you to will know to. everything oh. about um, franchising your business, the advantages of franchising your business. This time, it's from the franchisor perspective. Naman. Yes. Uh, okay. So for entrepreneurs. Thank you. No? Yes, entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. Uh, yeah. Those with uh, his existing business. Thank you, okay, Jay. Thank, thank you again, Dana. Thank you again. So as I said, uh, next week, this, this Thursday, we'll have a webinar featuring... Uh, uh, our um, board of trustees and, uh, and and the guest who will uh, show to us, share with us, no, the road to recovery. So that's May 14, uh, Thursday, two to four p.m. So uh, I hope that uh, again we will see you there. Uh, we, we will join this webinar. Uh, for the past webinars that we have had, uh, we have had uh, lots, no, of of, of attendees. Uh, and in, in Zoom or Facebook, I hope that you can join us in the seminar, which I know, I'm sure, will be very helpful in helping you go, uh, go to the next, uh, to the new normal. So on that note, again, uh, this is Jake Santos of PFA. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to our, to our panelists, uh, Ms. Dana Conetta, uh, Ms. Camille Malto of U Franchise, Mr. Don Sanita, Ms. Cheryl Carino, Ms. Carol K. Antioho, and Ms. Bel Pateles, and of course, our partner from PLDT, Mr. Tito Franco. Thank you again. Maraming salamat. At sa uli rin, makita kita talahat sa next na seminars. Webinars pala, webinars natin. Maraming salamat and good afternoon. Good afternoon.